Uh, I'm Captain Nixon with the uh, Fire Science Program for Johnston County Schools. We've got a short video that we're going to show you before uh, I get into the PowerPoint. Um, so we'll go ahead and start the PowerPoint, uh, the video now. The Fire Science Program is a, uh, a partnership between Johnston County Public Schools, Johnston Community College, and the fire departments of Johnston County. Uh, they're working together to provide this program for the kids so that when they graduate from high school, they are certified firefighters and they have the opportunity to get their fire science uh, degree from JCC at uh, nearly no cost to them. The, the biggest benefit is that they, uh, when they graduate, after having been a part of the program for three years, they are uh, hireable to the local fire, fire departments and they also have the opportunity to have the fire science degree from JCC. It's definitely a, a tough market out there to find a job. You know, a lot of times you have maybe 100, 100 people applying for one job. It definitely puts you ahead of the ball game and, you know, puts you in a really marketable place for yourself. The hands-on experience is the best. It's real fun and gives you the taste of what it's going to be like once you make it. We just finished um, emergency medical care, so going over how to do CPR, proper training, how to stop bleeding, treating wounds. So if any of that happens, I'll be ready. Whereas if you didn't take this, you may not know, and that could cost someone, and you would think, what if I had done something? What if I could have done something? So you can take away experience for how to save lives. I'm originally from Cleveland High School and I drive here every day to take this class. And what's great about it is that everyone is super supportive. Like the administration from Cleveland High School, the administration from Clayton High School, my mom, students here, they don't really care that I'm from Cleveland. They still accept me in their group. They still talk to me. I'm friends with every single one of them. I think the kids that see the fire trucks going up and down the street and, and get excited about seeing that, uh, I think they've got an interest. And, and to me, those are the kids that need to apply. Uh, the ones that, that want to help out in their community, uh, to help out, help out the folks that, that live around them and are willing to you know, sacrifice some of the time that they would uh, normally be spending on themselves to help out folks in their community. You know, that's the kind of kids that need to apply. If I was able to take this opportunity in high school, it would have helped me move quicker. It uh, affords more promotion opportunities in a shorter amount of time. You can start uh, your career basically before you have to go through all this training after high school. You get uh, a jump start on a lot of candidates and that's a very competitive uh, area. Well, this class kind of encouraged me to find a career path. I grow up, I don't want to be in a boring office job, you know, doing almost nothing for anything. You know, I wanted to be out there doing something for anybody or everybody. So this class basically has what I always wanted in a job, really. This is the real deal. So if you're more like physical person that like wants to do things and wants a job and wants to help people, this class is worth it. I'd say go for it, try it, and see how you like it. You're probably going to like it. It's a really fun class. All right, while we're waiting for the PowerPoint to come up, I was, uh, I'd just like to mention that the, the video is uh, on the website. The kids, the kids really would get a, a kick out of it, I believe. Uh, that the video shows them a lot about what's going on. The, the, the PowerPoint really is going to be for the parents uh, to get an understanding of what it takes to be a part of the program. Uh, okay, what is, what is the Firefighter Technology Program? As it says in the video, uh, it's a program designed to help these kids after they graduate to, to get a job as being firefighters. It's a three-year program. They start when they're sophomores and uh, makes them hireable when they, when they graduate. They can walk across the stage at graduation and uh, practically accept job offers as they do. Um, 
they're able to graduate from high school with the credentials from the state of North Carolina. They can get a job anywhere in the state of North Carolina as a firefighter. Um, and with the college and career promise program, they're able to get uh, nearly all of the uh, required classes that they would need prior to graduation. It's one more semester after they graduate in order to get their associate's degree. Uh, what can the program do for the kids? I'm going to uh, you get you get to earn your certifications uh, at no cost without having to be a part of a, a department. Um, the, the benefit for this is I've talked to several chiefs about it. They need firefighters now, and the problem what they're ha with what they're having these volunteers. The volunteers have to get the training on their own or after hours, and these kids when they graduate when they're 18 and they leave home and they go get them a job, they're not going to have the time to spend on going out and getting the certifications in order to be a volunteer. So they're going to graduate with the certifications that they need in order to be a firefighter. They may not be, want to be a career firefighter, but they can volunteer in their community and they're going to be able to uh, jump right into it as soon as they graduate. Uh, you can see that uh, Starting firefighter pay in Johnston County for a career is in the $35,000 range, and that's working 10 days a month. Uh, makes you promotable. This program will make you promotable. You have a degree. You're able to be promoted through the ranks. So, you know, your, uh, the ceiling on your pay is, is unlimited. Um, you get to be a member of the bravest, the greatest career known, and it would lead into other uh, careers other than public safety. Um, fire inspector, um, fire investigator, EMS, paramedic, fire instructor, uh, you know, the, the opportunities are limitless. This is a unique partnership. It's the only one in the state that I'm aware of where we have the community college on board with us so that when these kids graduate, they have one more semester and then they can ha earn an associate's degree. Uh, we have the so full support of all of the Johnston County Fire Departments as well as the, the, the tremendous support from the, the school system. Um, the courses are, as ninth graders, they enroll in a public safety class where we introduce them into the world of public safety, and that's fire, police, EMS. Uh, and then once they enter the 10th grade, they start into the firefighter technology program, and that's a three-year program that they learn that there's 22 modules that they have to complete in that three years uh, in order to earn the certifications. Um, it's hands-on. The kids love it. I, we just started in Smithfield last, last week with a, with a new crop of recruits, and, and they're loving it. Uh, I asked them yesterday, I said, hey, has anybody decided they've got there in the wrong class? And I've got 100% saying they're right where they want to be. Um, you have to pass all the modules in order to get your certifications. Um, and then the public safety course, like I said, introduces you to, to the world of public safety. Uh, here's a photo of some, uh, some work the kids did back at, uh, earlier this year at Clayton. We were uh, learning about hooking up the fire hydrants and flowing water, and uh, they, needless to say, they got a little wet that day. Uh, this is a typical, this was one day at the fire station. And I don't have the ability to make that play. This, this was a, uh, I call it a fire call. All the students are assigned their own set of turnout gear uh, that's been donated to us from the fire, local fire department. They each have their own set. When they come in in the morning, they get the gear out, out, out of their locker and they put it on the floor like they're ready to go to work. 
and sometime during the middle of class, I'll just say fire call, and you see what they do. They run, they run out of the class and into the bay area, and they get the turnout gear put on. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Okay. I got another video that we had the uh, we had Duke Life Flight come out for the public safety class, and they they put on a little demonstration and came and talked to our class. We got another little short video of this thing landing on the softball field at Clayton. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't landing; that was taking off. Okay, the kids really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Uh, but they got to talk firsthand with the crew. The crew came out earlier in the morning and talked to my public safety classes. They were there, uh, the, the flight nurses were there for about an hour talking to the kids before the helicopter showed up. Okay, the opportunities that this program would provide, um, they can, uh, participate in the Skills USA competitions that are held uh, in the state. They get firsthand experience in using some state of the art equipment. In the video, you can see the students were climbing up Cleveland's new ladder truck. That thing's brand new. It was put in service in December. Um, they, get to, they get to work beside, train with uh, firefighters from the county. We've had, uh, in Clayton, I had three, three or four departments come out and, and assist. Uh, providing equipment. They helped, they helped the kids work through some of the practicals that they had to do. Um, and they get, to, they get to interact with these fellows and these folks and see how they are. Um, and then like I've said earlier, with one additional semester at JCC, they can graduate with their associate's degree. Um, and they get to meet lots of great people that help protect our community in the public safety class. How do you get involved in the program? You need to have a serious interest in public safety. Uh, as I've said earlier, you know, th this class is for those kids that, are really, that really have a desire to, to get into public safety. If they don't want to be firefighters, but they, 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 they think they might want to be a paramedic or a police officer, you know, have them join, have them come on to the public safety class and learn what it's all about. Um, you have to have your, your grades, you have to have a, a, a 2.0, as a 10th grader, and that's for the career and college promise portion of this program. Um, transportation is not provided. That's the only uh, issue that we've got right now is the fact that we don't have transportation for the kids and the classes are held at Clayton and at Smithfield. Um, so this semester I'm at Triple S, and last semester I was at Clayton. And we have a, uh, the feeder pattern Certain schools feed into Clayton, and then certain schools would feed into Triple S. Uh, then you have to fill out an interest application by March the 1st, and uh, you can find the interest application on the website. And this was, my, this was the eight students that I had uh, first semester at Clayton. And, you know, we walked up and down the hall like this right here. The kids were breathing the air out of the air packs. And uh, students, you could see, they, they didn't realize that they were students. They thought they were actual firefighters. And, uh, and I told the kids, I said, you know, you, you put this gear on, nobody can tell uh, anything about you. They don't know who you are. They don't know where you're from. But they just know that you're there uh, and you're a firefighter. And that's, uh, you know, that's the special thing about this program. These kids, I had uh, two or three that came from a different high school in this, in this group of kids. By the, uh, by the end of the semester, they were just one group, and uh, it, they formed that on their own. They, 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 they were family, you know, and uh, that's the special thing about this program, the special thing about being a firefighter. If you have a question, I'll be glad to answer it. All right, well, I think we're done.